again. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> Ah, I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow. Uh, that's Fleur. She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten. Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes. Of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know. They're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> so, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hide, hide. <laughs> Witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah, wise old elf. Ooh, these books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, ho, ho, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Ooh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius! Self-transforming clothes? I would never 
never thought of that. And you say that you don't think about what to wear. <laughs> you know more about fashion than we ever could. Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, well, uh... Now, tell me, have you ever considered teaching fashion? Oh. <laughs> ah, Nanny Fluff, could you make us something for dinner, please? Of course, Your Majesty. I can make you anything you like, as long as you don't want carrots, tomatoes or lemons. <laughs> now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. <gasps> Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! More, more, more. Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> the piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's OK, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. <laughs> Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? 
Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. And the beautiful princess lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Holly. But, Daddy, the owl hasn't hooted yet. There's the owl now. And the fierce dragon ate the witch. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Ben. But, Mum, the clock hasn't chimed yet. Oh, it's chiming now. Good night, Holly. Good night, Ben. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <laughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on? Hold on to what? Oh, no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh, no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode. Picnic on the Moon! You can open your eyes now! Surprise! I said no birthday party! It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birth... <gasps> I mean, congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now for the giant firework. It's as big as a carrot. <laughs> I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa, old King Thistle is a very old king and he's one year older today. Old King Thistle, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Uh. Uh, of course, the song isn't actually about you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's about a different king, Your Majesty. A king far away from here. Whose birthday it is today. In that case, it was a very nice song. Hooray! Fun. Lou 
Susie, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray! And hooray for the little fairies. And elves. <laughs> I hear the sound of excited little ones. And something else. We must not enter. Honestly, what a lot of fuss about a terrible magical force of unimaginable power. I'll handle this. Good luck, me brave little pumpkin. Go off. <laughs> what can you see? Terrible things! Redbeards to the rescue! <laughs> Here be the toddlers! Oh! Hang on, Nanny Plum! Here she be! You're safe now, my plum pudding! I've seen many a terrible thing at sea, but nothing, nothing as bad as what I saw in that room. That's why we tend to keep the door locked. <laughs> Good. The party's over. It all went rather well, I thought. But what about the jelly? We haven't had magic jelly yet. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! All right, Nanny, but please don't make too much this time. Magic jelly! That's good. The party must be almost over. Ah, <laughs> oh, Raspberry. Have you had a nice time? Yes, Mummy. Tarquin, say thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, Nettle. Ow! She stung me again. It's Raspberry's birthday next. We hear you've got a children's entertainer who's good with toddlers. Yes. Here he is, the great Wizardo. Um, I... Uh... Wonderful. See you all at Raspberry's party, then. <laughs> oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. <laughs> ah! Oh! I say, an acorn. How charming. Your Majesty, throw the acorn away. A talking squirrel. Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty. Ah, wise old elf. Where did you come from? The acorn, Your Majesty. It's dangerous. Nonsense. How can an acorn be dangerous? <laughs> This lovely acorn isn't dangerous. Two acorns. It must be my lucky day. Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to store acorns for the winter. 
Oh, what happened? Where am I? Happy Acorn Day, Daddy. You didn't miss it after all. Oh. How am I going to get rid of all these acorns? Uh, you will need this squirrel costume. What? How does that work? You wear the costume and the squirrels copy you. I see. OK, on with the costume, Nanny. Off you go. Chop, chop. Uh, eh? Ooh. Happy Acorn! Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. No problem. These leftover potatoes, carrots, onions, peas and cheese have made a lovely soup. Ooh, yummy! Um... This steam is delicious, of course, but will there be anything else to follow? Yes, even though it's very filling, I could eat a tiny something more. I could eat a lot, lot more. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? It's coming from the kitchen. <laughs> this is delicious, Nanny. Mmm, it's the best. I say, what's this? It's just the children's supper. It smells very nice. It's only some soup I made from the leftovers. It's not very modern. You wouldn't like it. Could I try just a little bit? <laughs> the taste is so tasty. Can I try some too? And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous, Nanny. Uh, um, I have an announcement to make. Nanny Plum is indeed the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Now, what would everyone like for pudding? Something modern or my treacle pudding? Treacle, treacle pudding! pudding. <laughs> You're supposed to be asleep. I'm too excited about Christmas. What are you doing here? We're delivering your Christmas presents. Whoa! Do elves and fairies get presents as well? No, but tonight we have the elf and fairy feast. There's lovely music and lanterns in the trees. That sounds nice. It's beautiful. We'd better go. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, there wasn't a little snack down there for old Santa, was there? Yes, a mint pie. Delicious. And this drink. Even better. <coughs> We can't start the Elf and Fairy Feast until the others are back. Well, where are they? Ho, ho, ho! <gasps> Hello, everyone! We're back! Father Christmas gave us a lift on his sleigh. Thank you, Father Christmas. Would you like to stay for our Elf and Fairy Feast? No time, I'm afraid. I have to deliver presents to all the children of the world. How many deliveries have you done so far? One. Well, good luck. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good. Now we're all here. Christmas can begin. Hooray! Don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracus 
fairy. Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it worked. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class to a close. close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. <laughs> it's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. What happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> You're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <coughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm. I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm. Elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh, very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, always take an elf. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants a dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh. We don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep, deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> no! oh. <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> Level 99. The Elf Factory. And the Gloop Machine. The what? The Gloop Machine. <laughs> Oh, ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here. Forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This 
crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun. Oh, OK. What do I do? Just hit the ball through the little windmill. And into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> <laughs> Goodness! Look how high the sea is! Ben! Polly! Leave the castle now! We can't leave! The sea's too high! Polly, you can fly to the shore! OK! No! It's too windy to fly! Uh, Polly! Maybe it's time to do a little magic. Yes! I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum! One, two, three, roll! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Ben. Now for the magicking bit. Sun, sea and sand. Put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> you back, Wand. I knew Ben would catch you. Thanks, Holly. And I knew you could magic us to safety. Yes, the rescue was a perfect mix of fairy magic and elf skill. Here's to elf skill. And here's to fairy magic. Oi! Where's our ice cream? I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me... Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Cream. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that 
that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? Of course you can. <laughs> Nanny, Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh, no. The magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadu. Ah. ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty, Betty butterfly. butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map. The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh. We're back where we 
started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? Ahem. <clears throat> Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes! yes the the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help in finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Captain Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now, I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hoist the mainsail, Polly! Weigh anchor! Scrub the decks! Ah, Peace of the night! Let's get the ship underway! <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate! Aha! Me too! And me! And me! 